Stephen, we need to have a talk. What, what about? We need to ha have a serious talk. Ow! Stephen, would you start playing with your buses for the moment? Well, 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 just let me get to the terminus first, and then, and then, and then we can talk, okay? On the buses! Ding, ding! Terminus! Terminus! You bala, I hate you, I hate you. As I was saying, we need to have a serious talk. Oh, um, what, well, well, is it about the stains on the bed sheets? What? <laughs> it, it was, it was an accident. Um, I, 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 only last night I was um, I was in bed and I, and I was um, I, I was um. <laughs> I spilled some black currant juice. No, Stephen. Not about that. What, what, what I'm trying to say is, uh, your mother and I weren't going to always be here. Well, why are you going back to Nottingham? No, Stephen. Your mother and I are getting on, and there may come a time when we will pass on. Die. Oh, all right. You'll need someone to look after you. Oh, no, I can look after myself. Yeah. I don't think so. Remember when your mother and I went to Skegness for a week? We had to come home a couple of days early because we had a telephone call from the police saying that you'd been trapped on the roof. The fire brigade had to get you down. Oh, well, 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 it wasn't my fault. I, 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 I was in the back garden and, 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 I, and I threw my boomerang. And it, it didn't come back, and, um, well, it got wedged up in the gutter. And... Yes, yes. What I'm saying is you probably need a special companion. Maybe you can find someone to, with whom you can spend the rest of your... The rest of your life. Do you know of any women you'd like to be with? Oh, um... Um... Oh, I know. Um, um, Mrs. Hawley, uh, who works in the cake shop in um, in Belmont Road, you know. She's already married, Stephen. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, oh, what about Mrs. Kelly? You know, that she, she landed, lives down the road and her husband works in the... Oh, oh she's already married as well then, isn't she? <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, are, are there any places where you could go and meet someone? No. What about that scientist friend of yours? Oh, John from Burnley, yeah! Would he know of anyone? Well, I, I can phone him and see what he says. Yes, why, why don't you ask him if you go and spend a few days with him? Or a week? Or maybe longer? Okay, well, he's bound to know anyway, so that will be brilliant! Brilliant! <laughs> Hello. Oh, hello, lad. How are you? Oh, 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 I'm fine, thank you. What, what about you? Uh, to be honest, I haven't been that well. Ah, what's the matter? Uh, I've come down with a chicken pox. Chicken pox? I, I've been right under the weather. I, I've had a bit of a fever and I'm covered in red spots. I've got them all over my body. I mean, they're even on me, well, me doodah. Anyway, I, I took some of that chamomile lotion or whatever it's called. I took two spoonfuls before I realized that you had to rub it on. I've had to drink lots of milk and water to flush it out the system. I mean, fortunately, uh, Melvin doesn't seem to be affected. How? Melvin. My meerkat. Now, I haven't been able to go to work. I'm really put out. This week we're expecting a delivery. There's new buy rolls that have come onto the market. And not only do I do the usual 
uh, black, blue, green and red, but they also do purple, orange, brown and turquoise as well. And we're really looking forward to trying them out. Anyway, Dad, uh, what can I do for you? What? Well, my dad says that I've got to get married. I, and I don't know any women. Um, yeah, he suggested that I, I found you um, to see if I could stay with you for a while. Um, and, and then you, you can tell me how to meet a woman and, and what to do and what to say. Uh, well, it can't be this week because I don't want you to catch this chicken pox. But why are they rush to get married? Oh, well, my dad thinks that he and mum are going to die soon, so I need to get married to have someone to look after me. What? Well, getting married is a big undertaking. You have to look after a woman. You might have to have children. And you've got to buy a house. Ow! Oh. I'll I, I, I tell you what. Give me time to think this over and then come and visit me next weekend. I should be over this ailment by then. Oh, great! That'll be brilliant! Brilliant! Look, give me a ring in a few days' time and we'll make arrangements for you to come up here. OK then, John. Bye-bye! Bye-bye! OK then, bye! Bye! Uh, Dad! Dad! John's got the chicken pox! So, so I can't go and stay with him this weekend! So um, that means I'm going to have to stay here with you and Mum, OK? Oh. Uh, oh, come on then, Melvin. Do you want to read about the milk floats as well? It's right interesting, is this? Now, I didn't know that. I really didn't know that at all, you know. Oh. Right.